Hey, what's up, soldiers? Welcome back to Major Slack Videos, your first stop for titillating tactical gaming. We're playing Far Cry 3 in the master difficulty setting, and first thing I want to do is take care of business because I forgot to do I didn't forget, I just put it off. There we go, 305 bucks. And next thing I want to do is I want to actually buy the shadow. You gonna buy the shadow? Yeah, I'm gonna buy the shadow after all that pitching. Uh, two reasons. One, for demonstrational purposes. I don't really like this weapon, but I'm gonna just buy it for demonstrational purposes. Put it in slot number three. And number two, um, I need to get some handgun kills. And I need 10 handgun kills. This is the perfect weapon to deal with. I wanna unlock this skill right here. Gunslinger takedown requires 10 handgun kills, right? And I also wanna unlock um, knife throw takedown which is right here and that requires three melee kills and I've only got one right and how we're gonna do with that is use and abuse the Kells boat repairs outpost okay we're gonna go there and um, purposely get them to call in reinforcements and I know a special little choke point you can use there on the beach which is great for hiding out and just getting a whole bunch of kills all right so that's the plan let's do it There you go, there's the shadow, that's what it looks like. It's got a nice red dot scope on it, red dot sight. And tell you what, let's just use a little insurance here. <laughs> just in case things really get out of hand. There we go, and I'm gonna take a little Sunday drive on over to the Kells Boat Repairs Outpost. Maybe we'll run into some enemy patrols on the way and we'll take them down using the shadow. Get some handgun kills like that, get some handgun kills like that. See how it goes. Kind of a loose plan here. I have no idea how this is going to play out. This is one of the best vehicles in the game. I forget what it's called, but it's something like a flat Jeep. It handles really well. I just want to get just past the red vehicle there, parked on the road there. There's the red vehicle. Go up, everybody. Get up the hill here a little bit. And right about here, you can count on a couple of enemy patrols to happen on by. Okay, waiting up here, boss. Here, patrol, 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 patrol. Here, patrol, 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 patrol. Got a little present for you. Here we go. <laughs> What's this guy going to do? Hi there. The only thing I don't like about the shadow is the small clip size. There we go. Got two handgun kills right there. Give me your milk money and some handgun and ammo. Just what I need. Loot them up before another patrol comes along. <laughs> Let's just move this a little closer to ours. Here we go, here we go. Ah. How you doing there, buddies? Yeah. One thing you can count on with the, uh, the shadow is its accuracy. There you go, four handgun kills. Yeah, it will basically put the bullet where you aim. A nice little collection of vehicles here. <laughs> Rubbing hands with glee. Let's wanna like place them correctly here. A massive explosion. He is uh forthcoming. <laughs> Another patrol? Is that all you want to send on over to the old slacks there? Because, uh, I'm just itching to blow this shit up. Okay, I'm not going to wait too much longer. I 
Here we go. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, I want to get some more handgun kills here. Oh man. Oh, where did mine go? Okay, this guy's gonna mount again. This is not good. <laughs> you might be right about that. I'm gonna kill you with my bare hands. Yeah? You missed your chance, buddy. <laughs> not too bad, not too bad. Not too bad. Lots of kills here, boss. They pushed my car out of the way. Bummer. <laughs> What's the matter? Afraid of a little fire? I keep, hear, I keep hearing the ticking of a hand grenade. Where'd this guy go? Oh, he exploded. Here he is. Let's see if I can get this guy from here. I actually got him. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, accuracy is pretty good on this thing. Alright, so. Wiped out all my body armor and my endorphin boost syringe. I wonder if I can take another one here. I am short everything. I need two green leaves and one blue leaf. Alright, so that's that. How's the handgun kill situation? Stats, kills, handgun kills get eight, need two more. Should be able to easily get those uh, in the outpost. Of course it would save me some trouble if I can get them on the road. In the meantime, there's bound to be some blue leaves down there. A little bit of stutter stepping here. There's a shark in there. Great. Here's some blue leaves. Whoop a bite. Whoop a bit. Whoop up. Huh. Okay, hang on. <laughs> Need to harvest one blue leaf. There should be one here. Right here. Here we go. Now I need a green leaf and we're set over there. Big, okay. Those two guys are perfect candidates for a knife kill. Knife kills are hard because um, what happens is you keep accidentally getting takedowns. You gotta face them straight on. I hear a bear. This is not good. Great. Okay, wait a bit of it. Yeah, this could be good. Animal repellent. Use. While they're, uh... Ah, damn it. See, that's what happens. You get a takedown by mistake. Yeah, at least I got animal rebuilding in effect there. Actually killed him with the shadow, although they, those guys helped out. I figure the best way to get your knife kills is just just go after heavies with the Japanese Tanto. That way you're guaranteed not to get a, a takedown. Unless you've got the heavy beatdown skill, but that only comes on later. So if you definitely you know, if you really want a guaranteed melee kill. Whenever you spot a heavy, go after him with a knife. You won't do a takedown because you can't do takedowns in heavies. Alright, so wasted a couple of handgun kills there. Yeah, still got eight. There's a green leaf. That's what we need. Alright, now, um, crafting it up here, boss. One endorphin boost syringe, and don't hotkey it because we're going to use it right away. There we go. Gives a little bit of protection. Kills boat repairs. Always got a couple guys on the docks. Some dingoes here. Now, we could do some stealthing. Sneaky. 
<laughs> Taking down drunk chargers is the hardest thing. And since I've got most of my handgun kills, I'm gonna disable the alarm. Someone just fucking. There you go. <laughs> Your wish is my command. Okay, now I got the handgun kills. Let's even get the knife kills. There we go. Got one knife kill. Get out of here. <laughs> the alarm's busted. Sorry, buddy. I should have got more uh, blue leaves if I could got another endorphin boost syringe. Because this is going to be a tall order. Unless there's just one guy left. If I could position him just right. I'm coming for you! I'm gonna got him. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Thumbs up for the slack. Yeah. Ten handgun ten handgun kills and three melee kills. Of course I didn't get uh, my undetected bonus but uh, my streak is broken but that was on purpose all right so let's check out the stats here uh but 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 f4 look up the stats there we go 13 handgun kills and mainly kills three and we just check out the skills here this is something i meant to do last video as well and i forgot all right gunslinger takedown has two requirements actually one of them is you have to get 10 handgun kills that's what we just did and the other requirement is we have to complete the new rite of passage mission that's coming up soon and the other uh special takedown knife throw takedown that should be available right away because we got the requisite number of melee kills there we go so let's get it there you go and basically whenever you do a takedown if somebody's in the vicinity you can press uh the fire button to throw a knife. So we'll try that later on. And want to get this here loot takedown. It's going to be very useful to loot enemies automatically um, when you take them down. What else do I want? Um, what the hell? Let's get the other, this one here, grenade takedown. Get all the special takedown skills. Do a takedown, then press the throw grenade button to kick him away and blah blah. <laughs> And uh, what else do we want? Uh, I got two skills left. How about line gunner and soft landing? There we go. Line gunner and soft landing. The first one allows you to shoot uh, a one-handed weapon while going down the zip line. The other one reduces damage, reduces fall damage. All right. So that's it. All my skill points are spent. Um, we're done here. I <laughs> took a beating, but I'm okay. Filling up your boss, and let's get set up for the next video. We are going to go do, uh, well, let's go there now. Old Mines Outpost looking for, zoom out, this, was this one right here. We're going to go do the Mother Load story mission. The continuing adventures of mucking about with Buck. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and uh, let's get my loadout back in shape here. I want uh, a launcher, slot number three. So there's the shadow. Got a good taste of the shadow. And that's the way I like So How about some um, body armor? Got lots of money. And there should be the requisite number of leaves here, right here. Or was that? How many apologies? It was this one, yeah. To, to heal the samurais? No, here. Nats repairs. That's where we can pick up some. Uh, let's go in there now. Actually, Balsa Docks would have done just as well. Out you go. Green leaves. 
go down to the water, get some blue leaves, make ourselves some. And don't think we syringes. There you go, that's it. Ready to rock and roll? Crafting it up your boss. Let's make two. Have one spare. And use one right away. Ah, uh, yeah, that's the stuff. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so that's it. That's all we need. Don't buy any ammo, because on the next mission, um, there's an ammo pile right there before we start the mission. Right? So don't buy any ammo. There we go. That's it. Saving the game. Thank you all very much for watching. Coming up next, the Motherload story mission. All right. And if you thought this video was remotely entertaining, hey, don't forget to give the old slacks there a thumbs up. Yeah. Yeah, give it to me. All right. That's it. Slack is out. Hey guys, you can get this entire video walkthrough in easy to read ebook format. The Far Cry 3 Master Field Manual is a compilation of all the notes I took to create this walkthrough. It is the most complete game plan you can find that will have you beating the game on any difficulty setting, including the new very hard Master Difficulty. And you can get this all for only $9.99. How about a sneak peek, Slack? <laughs> Want a sneak peek? Okay, I can do that. Click on the link in the video description to get the Far Cry 3 Master Field Manual free sample.